All right, so uh, what team am I talking to right now? Acumentrix. Acumentrix, and in the summit, what did you guys place? Second. Second, Second place. place. That's awesome. Uh, congratulations. How does it feel? Feels great. It's amazing. Awesome. Cool. Um, obviously, we spoke to you earlier in the year in the fall symposium, but for those who may not have caught the video yet, uh, could somebody just describe to uh, me just what your project was? We had a smart power distribution unit that was also able to be network managed and able to talk with a smart uninterruptible power supply and able to send messages to email, mm -hmm. a SMS text message, and also able to prioritize outlets and also give system safety for That's overpowering outlets. That sounds like a lot of power. <laughs> Wow, so uh, working with the kind of field like that, was something that, was that something that you guys had like studied before? Nope, not at all, not, not at all. all. <laughs> and uh, here at the summit, do you, feel, do you guys feel like you're kind of like, uh, you've learned a lot about it, do you feel like it's something you're kind of confident in? Yeah, totally definitely. Like, yeah. Cool, does anybody want to like continue working in it? Like maybe go into the field? Yes. Really? Yes. Awesome, is that something that you picked up maybe from just like learning the content, or did you think it might have been the program, or just a combination of the both? When I took renewable energy here, mm -hmm. it was just a brief introduction of it, and I was very interested in it, and helped me kind of persuade me into power electronics. So, and then taking this or having this capstone experience definitely mm -hmm. shed some more light, and I definitely was interested in it. Why I placed second in the number of hours mm -hmm. dedicated to. Right, how many experience. hours is that, by the way? Because I know this. I know the standard is three hundred. So, how many hours do you guys actually put through the year? Six hundred and sixty-one. I had 567. That's definitely more than 300. <laughs> so I actually have a quick question, because this is one of the larger teams. How does the larger group dynamic actually work? Do you think it's more beneficial, or do you think it you know, might be detrimental? What do you guys think about it? Uh, a at, definitely a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, towards the end, we definitely had trouble with uh, system integration between hardware and software. Okay. Uh, towards the beginning, with the research and division of labor, it was really easy. So just. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a little bit of both. Uh, it's a learning experience. Yeah, though. definitely I imagine was. A big part of this program that we always try to touch on is that you're pairing with a, a business and you're trying to create this transition from where you're a student, a senior engineer, and then when you graduate, uh, you know, whether it be May, June, and then you get into the real world, and making sure that there's an actual transition that you can enter it, you know, hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like the program helped you out in this way? And also, were there any things, any skills or like habits that you picked up throughout the year that you think you're going to keep using uh, as you go into your professional careers? Definitely logging information. Okay. Log, like the logbooks, everything that we've done, any issue that we have, we mm -hmm. were able to log, and any <clears throat> any new findings, such as when I was implementing hysteresis into yeah. the auto ranging input, cool. I learned a lot, and I was able to draw up multiple schematics and be able to place certain ones to be able to find values that I needed to get my deliverable schematic to. Cool, cool. So uh, you're working with a company. Um, you have your technical directors. How, how is that in your like every week, your daily? Is it something that you you know you found helpful? Uh, were there anything that you particularly liked about it? Um, keeping us on track. Yeah. Having basically someone pushing you to do more. Having mm -hmm. making sure you know. We are doing what we need to do, and we're not just, you know, going off the rails. Excellent. Now uh, we're getting towards the end of the year, making sure everybody, everybody's got jobs. They're looking for jobs. They're going into grad school, right? We're keeping it going. That's mm -hmm. awesome to hear. Um, obviously, congratulations. One last question. I've been asking this: um, the program. If you saw an engineer going into, you know, computer electrical, and they were going into it, how likely would you be to recommend, you know, the program here, the capstone, and following it all the way through? Definitely recommend getting the experience before graduating. It's a great learning experience mm -hmm. and shedding your light, shedding light on maybe even different aspects of engineering that you wouldn't have anticipated certain. Yeah, you're saying you turned you turned into power systems after, you know, you know, maybe three, four years of education. That's actually a big turn. Awesome. Well guys, congratulations on second place and honestly, uh, congratulations uh, with your college careers. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.